am to poor keep. Hard. Okay, first thing you do, iron well. And we have got an entire group from Fairy. So, this dungeon, you pull the trash. Um, you come up to this boss. Boss, but this enemy. Oh, and I forgot the Leaf Miners come out. But the healers got that covered with Holy. So after this Hedgerow thing dies, you need to kill the remaining Leaf Miners. Okay, we got these Grey Wolves. Smack the Grey Wolves. We got this Megalotragus. You gotta be careful when walking down here, because these vines will wump. What you want to do... Okay, just making sure everybody's with me. You want to... Uh, okay, I'm gonna pop hallowed ground since I probably got smacked by that. Great wolf. You want the enemies to get wumped by them. Because they will take increasingly more damage. And it makes this boss... well, not boss. Door enemy. That's what I'll call it, a door enemy. Got the leaf miners again. Alright, and that is going to leave just the Grey Wolf up, which they're going to kill while we run to the first boss. First boss, mechanics matter. First boss. Oncog. These statues are important in this fight. He's going to target somebody with a lightning, and they, that person, who is marked Ukari Jin, needs to run behind one of these. Otherwise, they are going to die. Or not. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. When you get targeted with that, you need to run right up next to the boss because the charge does more damage the farther away you are. If you hide behind one of the statues when that happens, it kills the statue. The statues are needed to keep yourself alive from the lightning. Heather. Heather did not last as long as it used to. So it's possible that they have nerfed it. Okay, so they're running. They take it into the statue. It will do damage to the statue instead of kill the boss. No, don't run away. Don't run away on that. You you hug the boss. Ale of sorrow, all of sorrow, and the boss is down. Okay, in here. We 
We've got trash. We've got the runes, Lamora. What you want to do is you want to establish threat on everything and pull it back to the fox glove. Fox glove is going to spit poison at people. It's going to create a poison thing, and you want to kill the fox glove. You don't want to be standing in front of that thing either. Foxglove cannot be stunned. Okay. Now we've got the second group of doorway enemies. Oriel Storm. That was good timing for their spawn. We'll pop Sheltron, eat that. Best to kill these before you move on, just... But we've got a similar thing here. We've got the Lamora, we've got the Lord Stools. When we run up, we grab the Rose and the Fox Club. You don't want to be standing over here, you want to be standing on the other side. Because this Rose is going to do bad breath. I'm going to dodge. Foxglove wants to die. Second boss, mechanics matter. Not the second boss yet. One more gatekeeper. Ow. Stun that. Nope. So. This lovely boss, the Boogeyman. See this orb over here? It's going to be important. So you pull the boss. The boss has a frontal cone that is going to be... Um, you can look away from it. boss is going to go invisible. As soon as the boss goes invisible, come over and destroy the luminescent globe. You can faintly see where the boss is. As soon as this is destroyed, you'll get a, a buff called Irradiated. You want to go and stand next to the boss. Stand next to the boss. Goes off. Does a knockback on the boss. Brings it back into light. Ads will spawn. You want to kill the ads. There is one that is going to have a different name. That will spawn when this, with this. That will spawn on this group of three. So, um, before you get the luminescence, it's the Blood Moon Martyr. You want to kill the martyr. Don't know if I can do it by myself. But the spontaneous combu combustion skill does a lot of damage. They revealed both of them. Boogeyman splits halfway through this fight. Comes two. And that is the second boss done. Okay, next section, if I recall correctly. is going to be this. This is a timed arena. Kill everything as fast as you can. I'm going to try to gather them up, get them in the right spot. Things will continue to spawn. Hey, and I just hit 57.
enemies can be stunned. But we've got demon walls coming at us from every direction. Well, the four cardinal directions at least. We want to DPS everything down as quickly as possible. Okay. This is not the last guy. It's a Nysic Gargoyle. Okay. There should be two more adds that spawn after this, I believe. They are. Yeah, they're not even... We're not even in danger. 90 seconds until we're, we have to be done. And we're done. Okay. Third boss. Pretty odd. Tank in the middle. Tank the boss in the middle because it gives the least amount of running that you have to do. Uh, different people will get rooted by a slime. The slime has to be killed before they can move again. This is important because this phase will happen while you're rooted. So we need to kill these jesters while he is doing that. If you do not kill him fast enough, this will expand all the way to the outside, and you'll take massive damage. I don't know if it's uh, lethal. He is also invulnerable while he's doing that. Okay. Yeah. This is the thing that's rooting me. Wing it. Once it's dead, get back on the boss. Use reprisal. Minimize. Some of the damage he does. Alright, swords will spawn. They will do a cross like that. Move the boss when those spinny things go out. Okay, I've got another operation on me. You can walk across that while the boss is charging it. Just when the thing goes off that you take damage. If you're standing in it. So the boss has... Invincibility while he's doing that, so don't bother attacking him. You're not going to get any benefits from attacking him. Okay, this is the third one that's going to go out. Yep. The Cankerous Gobbit. This one, the person that is under it cannot attack. They cannot do anything... They just have to stand there and wait to get reaped. Okay. If the fight lasts longer, then there's going to be um, swords from two directions, so it'll do a crisscross across the map. But that was and to poor keep hard. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. If you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV videos, please like, follow, and subscribe. The usual YouTube stuff. To catch me live, check out my Twitch, link in the description. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.